Hello everyone, Nick here. Now I'll show you how to create a Superbase admin panel using UI Bakery. Superbase is cool and can handle most of the application backend requirements, while UI Bakery is focusing on the client side, allowing you to create a neat web applications and share them with your users. So now we will create a UI Bakery application that lists data from your Superbase database and also adds editing capabilities. Let's start by connecting your Superbase database to the UI Bakery. In UI Bakery workspace, click to the data sources, then connect and PostgreSQL. Here we'll have to fill in the connection settings from your Superbase database. Let's get back to the Superbase here, then navigate to the project settings, database and find your connection parameters. Now we have to copy them to the UI Bakery connection settings form. When you're done, just click on the connect data source. When connection is performed, let's get back to the workspace and create a new UI Bakery application. And here I'll first of all create an action that will actually load data from my database. So here is data preview, everything is connected, loaded, we can start building our UI. First of all, I'll add a table here. I'll call it clients table, remove data I don't wanna see here. Probably let's make this row column look like tags. Also, I want my table in a bit more dense UI and table more records per page. Uh, let's make it a bit higher. Okay, cool. Now let's add a form for editing records. Let's call it audit client. Remove some records. Let's say we want to keep name, registration date, and user status here. The last login date also will be removed. So now we have this form and a table, and let's make it display data from the selected row of the table. So here in a form data source, I'll choose my table selected row data. So now when I'm changing rows in table, it will automatically update data in this form. Now to make it actually work, we have to create and submit trigger for this form and create a new action that will perform an update row action on top of this client's table. So here we have to configure which roles will be updated. I'll use my form value.id, so we'll reference record by ID. And now we have to configure which data we'll send to the database. I'll turn this into the JS mode and just send everything from this form. After that, I want to reload the data into this table. So I'll just execute another action and execute load clients action again. Let's take a look on how does it work. Let's say I want to take this client and mark it active right now. Then I'm pressing submit and boom, it is updated here. Finally, I'll just have to publish my application so my users will be able to use it. That's it. Thank you for watching and now it's your turn. Join your bakery community.